Okay, welcome back everybody to the Dream Whisper of Jesus where we discuss and interpret prophetic dreams. Today I thought I'd just discuss in some further detail the prophetic dream I received a few days ago about the ANC negotiating with many parties in South Africa and possibly forming a new government with many parties and I'll just go into that with a little bit more detail and also at the very end of this video I'll share a prophetic vision that my wife received about one of South Africa's political leaders. So basically as I was sharing, oh, I'll zoom the camera out, zoom it out. So basically three days ago on 3rd of June 2024 I saw, I had a dream and I saw the ANC and it was negotiating with many political parties. It wasn't just one or two parties, but it was many parties. So I called that video Four Paths to Power. And if we do a review of the South African election, there's basically four ways the ANC can form a new government. So as we know, uh, you require 201 seats or votes in the South African uh, Parliament or Legislative Assembly to, to form a government and at the moment the ANC is on 159 and basically they've got four options to form a new government. They can go with the DA, the MK, the EFF is a little bit more complicated that has 198 votes so you they would have to get another small party to form a government. But the, the other fourth option, which hasn't really received any attention at the moment in the South African mainstream media, is that there's actually 14 minor parties, small parties, and together those 14 minor parties have 57 votes, and they actually have the power to uh, elect, re-elect the or to form a new government with the ANC. So I'll just go into a little bit more further detail about that today. So basically in South Africa for the fourth option you've got 14 minor parties with 57 votes and for every vote or motion in the South African Parliament you need 42 out of 57 votes. That's what the ANC needs. And Basically the ANC has 14 minor parties that can go to to try and f find, assemble those 42 votes. And if we look at it in more detail, it's quite interesting. Uh, the, the most powerful small party, if you like, in South African politics is the IFP and excuse me if I pronounce the name wrong, um, its leader, Velen Kosini Habisa. Uh, he's become really crucial in South African politics because the IFP's 17 votes, whichever way the ANC cuts the cake of these minor parties, it all, the ANC always has to go to the IFP. It, it, the ANC can't form, a, in this fourth option, the ANC can't form a government without the IFP and Velen Kosini Habisa. He becomes really crucial. And then the, basically the IFP has a, a veto power, if you like. If it, if it really is forced to, into that situation, it can use an, a veto in its agreement with the ANC. And then all these other political parties have, have a lot of negotiating power, but not, not the same power and authority as the IFP and Velen Kosini Habisa. And, and a really crucial one as well is the Patriotic Alliance and Gaten McKenzie. Patriotic Alliance and Gaten McKenzie don't have a veto power like the IFP, but they've still got nine votes and that's a really big chunk of these 57 votes and, and the ANC would have to do a lot of negotiating with the Patriotic Alliance and Gaten McKenzie. But, doesn't have the same authority as Velen Kosini Habisa, but still really crucial. And then all these other little political parties, 
the ANC would be negotiating with them as well. But the, the ANC has a little bit of flexibility with them in who it chooses to um, assemble its votes from on a daily basis. So basically if, if I draw a really basic picture of the situation, ANC has 159 votes, needs 201 to form a government, the IFP has 17, that's the wrong colour, pen, I'll use a, if, if the ANC gets the IFP, that gets it another 17 votes, IFP, so then that takes the um, ANC up to 176, so it's starting to get pretty close to that 201 number and then if for example the ANC goes to Gayton, McKenzie and the Patriotic Alliance that's another nine votes and that takes their total vote tally up to 185 and then they're getting really close to this 201 number and then there's various different ways the ANC would do it but still got another 31 votes to play with out of this 57 vote pot and and it needs to get 16 of those 16 out of 31 and and then the ANC would get over the 201 line there would be lots of little different parties in that agreement so so this fourth option it's certainly uh, a real possibility of what might happen in South African politics over the next coming weeks and possibly months but but the really interesting thing is is the sort of in a way the the three biggest people in South African politics under this fourth option it would be Cyril Ramaphosa obviously but the the second really crucial person would be Velen Koseni Habisa uh, because he basically has almost like a veto if he really wants to use it with the ANC. So that, that relationship becomes really crucial and then not having the same amount of authority but a really crucial player would be Gayton, McKenzie and the Patriotic Alliance. So that's a basic summary of what might emerge in South African politics in the coming weeks and months. And now I'll just briefly share the um, prophetic vision my wife saw but she saw a black gentleman with white hair and in the dream he had um, beautiful flowing white hair which is quite quite long so that's a symbol of wisdom In prophetic dreams people can look different from what they look like in real life so in the in the prophetic realm, spiritual realm, my wife saw Velen Koseni Habisa with um, beautiful flowing white hair. So this is a symbol of a wise man and he's also like a kingmaker in South African politics now. So for the next five years, um, the IFP and Velen Koseni Habisa become a really central player in South African politics. And so he already has a lot of wisdom, but we can always pray for him. He's going to play a huge role in determining the direction of South Africa for the next five years. It functioning as a wise man kingmaker for the ANC if, the, if Cyril Ramaphosa and ANC do choose to work with IFP and, and Velen Kossini Habisa. Okay, thank you brothers and sisters in Christ for listening. God bless you. God bless South Africa. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.